David Stevens farms in the townland of Cararea and has a herd of 75 Frisian cows. David, in farming terms, would be known as a dairy farmer or in some areas as a big milkman. Milking all these cows by hand would indeed be a mammoth task, but like most other things on the farm these days, milking is now a mechanised operation. This is called an 816 milking parlour. Eight cows on one side and eight on the other. These machines will milk all of the 16 cows in less than 20 minutes and will stop automatically when the cow has no more milk to give. The month of May would be the peak time of the year and at that time David's farm would be producing 3,500 litres of milk every two days. No longer seen at the end of the farmer's lanes are the creamery stands, for the milk is now collected in large tankers and taken to various creameries throughout the country. We will concentrate on Ballarishane Creamery outside Coleraine, which has been operating here since 1896. The raw milk comes into the creamery and goes through a lot of tests to make sure it is good and fit for human consumption. The milk coming in is stored in large tanks called silos. While most supermarkets and shops now sell milk in two litre cartons, the glass bottle with the silver top is still popular. Forklift trucks take away much of the backache once associated with milk production. Although butter making has been going on here for over 100 years, the general process of agitating sour cream into butter has changed little over the years, with the exception that, like everything else, most of the work here is now done by machinery. This creamery is capable of producing 50 tonnes of butter in a day. A lot of this butter will be exported to the Caribbean, North Africa, Malta, Cyprus, Dubai, Taiwan, some to mainland Europe, as well as to the local market. In recent times, butter has become more popular again. There was a time a few years ago that people, for health reasons, were eating more low-fat spreads, but they now realise that the best taste comes from butter. Cartons of whipping cream are also produced here. These two-litre cartons of semi-skimmed milk are bound for the spar chain of supermarkets. All of the milk produced here is for the local market, whether through shops, supermarkets or by the local milkman, who in rural areas is still appreciated. The final production line at Ballyrishane is the cheese making. The steam and humidity in here steamed up our camera so we will just show the blocks of cheese coming out after being submerged in brine. The cheese at this stage would be inedible, a bit like rubber, so it will be stored for six months until it matures. When it is ready it would taste something like Parmesan cheese and will be exported to Greece. There would be little or no market for it in Northern Ireland.